This wig you wouldn't. So where's Shiva? Is that Shiva? That's Shiva. Okay, let's follow this. I was like, what? You have a smaller island than we have? Outrageous. What is this game? This is the Pirate Daimyo Helsen. The new one. It's Pirate Republic Daimyo. It's great. Improve the capital. Ooh. Uh, spend ducats or spend manpower. Well, I have no use for manpower, so we're going to do that. We're also going to turn the sound down again. Because as I said, the balance of the music in this is pretty poor. I really want to find a way of going after Uchi. I need somebody big to go after him. There's definitely no chance of me getting a treaty with Yamana, no. Which is too bad, because they are pretty big. Who else is a decent size? Uswegi. She oh, wait, Sheba's a lot bigger than I expected. You know what? Let's improve relations with Sheba and see if we can get that going. Now, why don't I like them? Where's this negative coming from? Where's all this negativity coming from? Hello? Come on, Sheba. That's Yamato. That's Sheba. Pirate Haven, minus 45. Why don't I like this? I'm a pirate! I should get a positive bonus for them being a pirate haven. It's basically saying, hey, so, you want to come dock over here? Go on then. It seems there's always a small group of parliament who can't agree with the others. Regardless of the matter at hand, this particular group has always had a different opinion from everyone else. Lose stability or lose prestige? Buy prestige. Hammer Republic, stability is really expensive. Oh, 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 fight! Fight! Kikuchi, faithful allies, asking for me to come to their aid in the Shimazu conquest of Kikuchi against Shimazu. Defensive war, we need to help our ally. Shimazu is allied with Uchi. Oh, I'm on Uchi's side. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Shimazu was against Kikuchi, and then so and Uchi is in. Cool. Let's go kill some stuff. Ah, oh, you wimps! See if I can tempt them out of port. Unfortunately, I have a bad feeling that this is just going to allow Shimazu to grow. I mean, if they got their full 11 ships, I'd be in trouble. Although we have six galleys against their two. Six. Six v six. Except I'm a pirate republic, which does give me naval power. Naval bonuses. Oh no, that's just... Oh, force limits. Hold on, I can build more. No, I can't. I'm already using it. See if I can provoke them to come out of port. No. Well, how about I send the two transports over here? Because I'm trying to just get a full blockade here if I can. 
Innovativeness is decreasing because we have not got administrative yet. Soon. Still not quite enough. I really don't want to split up anymore. There's absolutely nothing I can do against this. Like 7,000 men? No. Epic Total War. And you should still be drilling. Did I tell you to stop? No. I did not. Oh, actually, you know what I could do? That would be really annoying. I like this idea. That's be really annoying. I mean, like, looking to see what I could take, which would be really irritating. I could take EO and just loot it. <laughs> As long as I take it before these guys wake up and cross over, then we just sit here looting it. I control the straight crossings, they can't get to me. Okay, they're coming for us. Why didn't you fight them? Oh, because you're a different army. Ah, <sighs> bollocks. Stack wipe. Stack wipe. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> no point getting three. Don't have enough transports. Should have done that earlier. Should have spotted it. I didn't. That's on me. But I'm still blockading them and making money from it, so... Eh. It's fine. Yes, I would love to build a temple. Thank you ever so much. Oh, it's also August 53. I'm going to be in a position to go looting again soon. So all we really need to do here is just keep... Uchi in a war for long enough for somebody else to jump in and intervene. And yes, I see you sitting right there. Nice try. Buddy old chap old thing old bean. In fact, if I built a fort in my main capital, they can never conquer it. Because he would need at least 6,000 men to take it. Interesting. Did I get an actual zero? I didn't even notice that. I did lose all of my drilled troops, which is a bit annoying. And also the fact that we're down to just 10 ducats. So I'm going to have to fire my naval morale guy soon. Yeah, true. Forts do require maintenance. We're not really in a position to do that. Totally forgot I had an agent here. I think we can probably go to speed 4 again. Doesn't look like their navies want to risk attacking mine.
Oh, the zeros for what you just reported about the end of end stream. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Ben Magnus just restored Rome and CK2 converted to Hellenic, burned Rome's churches all down and had half of his empire rebel along with 90,000 peasant rebellion in Rome. Ouch. That's, that's a lot of rebels. Yeah, I saw he was playing CK2. I was a bit surprised that he wasn't doing this. What is the difference between an honest man and a fool? The fool doesn't know he's being swindled. So goes an increasingly common saying in So, the spirit of which is proven through more sinister change in social fabric. We have no corruption. Why did that event appear? Election in the Pirate Republic. So we can re-elect this guy and we lose 10 Republican tradition. However, we do still have the swashbucklers in charge. Or the buccaneers, or whoever it is. Buccaneers. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Make it a 2 5 2. It's when do you get when you destroy the Vatican City and every other church in Rome? Ah, I see. I've never come across that before. I am actually causing them more exhaustion because of the blockades. Shimizu, I do not have blockaded, but the others I do. I do need to be somewhat careful about my money, though. I can't, like, call you in or anything, can I? And because I'm at war, I cannot make a deal with Sheba. Although Ishiki is suddenly grown a lot bigger. Crikey. Someone just disappeared. Yamana don't exist anymore. And I could very easily get an alliance with Ishiki. Hold on. Hold on. Let's start improving relations with everyone here. An army career. With the growth of our professional army, new career opportunities abound for those with ability and ambition. The old influential families, however, still expect to be rewarded most of the valuable commissions out of tradition and the centuries during which their lineages have served the council faithfully. Some of our higher officers are now imploring us to open more opportunities for able men with, to rise within the ranks, while others oppose this vehemently and maintain that there are qualities that only blood can assure. Lose army tradition, gain army professionalism. I doubt that I have much army tradition. So I'm going to say I'll take the professionalism. Thank you. Because that's something that should just rise over time now. Nope, still going down. Hmm, okay. Maybe not the best idea. How did I guess he'd be playing a so? Well, I'm not sure. Diverting trade again. Oh, 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 we're almost out of money there. Didn't take any loans though, it's fine. So I just need to fire this guy. Bye bye. You did your job well. And now we're making money again. That was close. I'm basically just going to sit back and just try and build up my professionalism so that we're in a position to just fight lots of people with small armies. So we're, we're playing the long game here. Oh, also. Um, let me move my ships back for a second. I want to see what they do. Because it's raiding season. And it was, in fact, raiding season like two years ago. stay. Bugger. T 
Stop leaving port, you morons! Oh, they're fighting up here. Here we are. Here we go. Now we got them. Nine ships versus five. This is my six galleys against their four. Their reinforcements don't seem interested. Victory is ours. We did not capture any, though. We still have the crazy capture levels, right? Force limit plus 50%. Capture ships plus 33%. <laughs> yes, we do. Capture any, but we sank both. Didn't capture any. Didn't capture any, but we sank a bunch. Still didn't capture any. Come on! How many naval battles do you want me to be involved in? I think I still have one more in the north. Plus Ryukyu. 70 ducats. Ooh, that's nice. And suddenly I feel wealthy again. We were defeated. However, this does mean that we can now get our alliances going. Shiba, Oda, Yamana. Uh, you don't want to make that piece do yet. Who was the other one that I was working on? Oh, this was Shiba. This these guys. Hachikama, Date, and Ishiki. Damn it, your rivals with Ishiki. Uh, I think I do want my agreement with Ishiki, though. So I'm just going to continue improving relations with Ishiki. For now. Get a diplomatic reputation. So we are again going to be losing money, but we have loads, so it's fine. And you can head in to repair. You can go back to privateering against Beijing. And there we go. So Shimizu is only allied with Uchi. And you're only allied with uh, Ito. Where's Ito? Oh, him. Okay. Well, I think that the obvious target right now would be to go after Shimazu and then call in my allies. Shoni would accept for resources. Probably could give... Well, I kind of want to keep all four of these provinces. Here's the problem. So I just need to... This is going to be a slow game. I, I warn you that now. This is going to be a slow game because I need to kind of sit back and let the various resources and things I need fall into place. And I need to keep on answering these calls to arms. Uchi declared war on Shoni. Uchi is allied with people. Shoni, please tell me you have some other allies. Yamana and me. Yamana is rather depleted. 
them. However, this does let me... ships are immediately just like, nope! I mean, I, what I really want to do here is send some troops to land on EO just so I can steal it. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem like the opportunity that I've been waiting for. Uchi has 4,000 men there. Against my 2,000, we'd get obliterated. Oh, come on, that's Ito. Ito is attacking Yamana, right. I mean, I could try to land over here and go and fight those guys. That's Yamano's army. You know what? Let's land here. And start working on taking this province. If I just take it, then I control the uh, sea crossings and they can't get out. There we go. It's mine. So now I can really mess around with them. Unable forces usually so reluctant to engage in E4. Yeah, they're a lot more cautious than other games. Like if they think that they can emerge and actually do something then they'll emerge, otherwise they're quite happy to sit in port. Things falling off the desk. Outrageous. Anyway, as we have just hit a milestone, 100 people of you, uh, 100 viewers now watching. Hello to you all. Um, I just want to say that I am currently working on a game of my own. It's a massively multiplayer sci-fi strategy called Starium XCV, and it is currently being kickstarted. If you are interested in this at all, then please head over to the Kickstarter, which Marshall has just posted up there. Uh, as I said, I am very heavily involved in this. We do have a team in Michigan. I'm currently not streaming from my usual place at home uh, because I'm in Michigan rather than in Britain working on this Kickstarter. It's a really, really cool project. Um, I would highly urge you to go and check it out. Even if you're not able to support us uh, financially, um, then please do just share it. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your enemies so you can blow them up in space. Tell everyone. Like we've the, 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 the problem that we're having at the moment is just getting the word out. So if you just share it with people, that would be just phenomenal. Please, please, please do. And we do have a Discord channel, which you can find linked on the Kickstarter. We have a Facebook page, which you can then share to other people, and then also Twitter. And you can hit us up in any of those places, though we seem to be the most active on the Discord. So come join us, say hello. And if you are particularly interested in what I personally have been working on as part of that game, the update that we released today, which is the racial overview for the Jervians, which is one of the playable races, I wrote that. I'm the lore master. I do all of the uh, the writing for the backstory. Not all of it, but most of it. That's such a tiny tech tree, though. It needs to be bigger. <laughs> we probably have the biggest tech tree I think I've ever seen. I know. I had to come up with all of the uh, technologies for it. It is huge. I think there are something like 7,000 nodes. I've actually got the spreadsheet. You probably... 
The problem with that spreadsheet is it is huge and it will probably crash my laptop if I try to open it up while playing E4. It's enormous. A new culture has been spreading throughout the land based on the ideals and aesthetics of Zen Buddhism and the concepts of Wabi Sabi, beauty and simplicity. The tea ceremony, Ikebana, flower arrangement, no drama and sumi e painting have become increasingly popular. So we can lose some money and gain admin tech cost reduction, diplo tech cost reduction or we lose some prestige. I'm going to encourage this. A culture that encourages tea ceremonies. We must have this. Is that Right, I need to go and pick my army up because they're fighting and I'd quite like them to be involved in such affairs. I'm chased away. I think with 4,000 of us we can start sieging this. Yep. We can do a government reform. So now we can choose the Council of Captains, which will increase my privateering efficiency and increase our captain's influence. We can have the Articles of Agreement, Sailor Modifier, a yearly Republican tradition, or Smuggler's Haven, Trade Power Abroad, and Smuggler's Influence. I think for this one, we're going to go with the Articles of Agreement. Yearly Republican tradition is just really strong, as is the Sailor Modifier, because we're on such a small island. Council of Captains would be good if we were doing more privateering, but we're not using light ships, we're using galleys. Although that being said, if I did eventually get the flagship, which gave trade power to galleys, then I could start doing some very serious privateering with my galley fleets while at peace. And that could be a very significant source of income. It would basically allow me to pay for my galleys plus a bit. It basically allows you to pay for your heavies while they're at peace. Advertising is expensive. Yeah, it is. How am I liking Western Michigan? Uh, it's good. Just having to double check. So, each other. yeah. Western Michigan's really, really nice. Like, I've been to this area a couple of times, and it's always really cool. Hello, all. Oh, the tech tree and starium scared me. Only thing that shook me more was seeing your name next to your picture, and it wasn't Mordred Viking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you get the real name there. <laughs> 